you are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> Time in College Park, Maryland, 81, Penn State 75. It, it was a grind to the to the end. Maryland comes back after being down 11 early. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Mason, what did you see out there? Yeah, uh, a game Maryland trails almost uh, the better part of the game. 29 minutes. The Terps did not have the lead in this one. Uh, they take it 81 to 75. In the end, uh, Deshaun Harris-Smith, Jamie Kaiser, Jameer Young, and Julian Reese really get it done for the Terps. And look, a win's a win in this conference. Um, anytime you can pull one out for this team, uh, it seems like it's a good day. It was a good night. Maryland played with desperation and purpose. It took them a while to get going. And then you start to see the freshmen. But we'll start with Julian Reese up against Gadoos Wahab, a former Terp. And Julian playing against guys with size who want to play in the post, all of a sudden Julian's effective again. Yeah, I think the Big Ten basketball is, is really, really helping uh, this Maryland team kind of find its groove. It's, it's a team that's built uh, for the brutal game that a basketball is in the Big Ten and really able to get inside, you know, draws a lot of fouls, a ton of foul shots in this game for both teams. But Look, Juju can get it done inside, and that little step-back jumper is coming back. That makes him so much more effective as a player. Maryland wins its 16th game in a row at home. That's nothing to sneeze at. You talked about DHS taking the ball to the basket. When it came down to winning time, they find DHS in overtime. Basket right over your shoulder here. Why do you think he needs to start playing a more offensive game? Yeah, I think uh, right now on this team, uh, one of their most effective things is getting to the basket. If they can do that, and he is a player that's really, really dynamic getting towards the basket, they need to get momentum going towards the hoop. That's going to allow them to you know, finish strong at the rim and, and, and make things happen because they're obviously not. Uh, they're actually one of the worst outside shooting teams um, in the country at this point. But when they can do things like average, they average one point uh, per possession on the game today. When you can do that, um, you have a good chance to win games, especially at home on the road. You need a little bit more than that. You need to find a little bit more of an outside shot. But another miserable three-point shooting night. But when guys get to the basket, you find those and ones, you get the other team in foul trouble, you're in a much better position uh, to win the game. Maryland, for most of the game, made more free throws than Penn State shot. That's usually how it works when you have a home game in the Big Ten. Jameer Young was a moment spectacular. Moments he was the only offense Maryland had. He was supposed to have a sprained ankle. Didn't really look like it. He was at moments electric again. But we talked about Dante Scott and where he fits on this team. He doesn't score for most of the game. Coming down the stretch, he gets four points. Almost could say that's a difference maker. Um, definitely, definitely is. I mean, his shot goes in the basket, the big and one, uh, coming down the stretch. And look, if guys play their roles, the entire team generally has the better chance to win. And tonight he probably could have put up a shot or two when he should have, that he didn't. But we it's... understand why. The ball was not going in the basket. Yeah. All right. We will be back in a moment to wrap this up from Xfinity Center. Maryland in overtime goes to 5-4 and four in the season. We'll be back in a moment. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back.
the biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck, the speed of the truck, or where the truck had been. So it's just different type of handling. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. You have a massive, heavy vehicle that strikes a much smaller vehicle, you're going to have more massive injuries. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. Mason, it started to look like the freshmen finally started to look like they belonged on the court. Jamie Kaiser plays a long time. I think he has four steals, makes a couple of threes. He did foul out, along with DHS. That's a pretty good combo, stretching minutes. They actually played, I thought it would be Long who played more, but it was Kaiser and DHS. What do you make of that? Uh, guys are going to need an opportunity to play. I think uh, Coach Willard said it this week. Everybody needs to settle it down a little bit with these young guys who are just getting uh, into their their college basketball careers. And I think that showed a little bit tonight. We need to make some more, again, progress from Jamie Kaiser shooting the ball from outside. Uh, DHS just needs to keep his head on. You know, he made a couple of emotional plays there that he didn't need to make. Put up a three that he didn't need to take there when he could get downhill and get to the basket. But as a team, as a whole, I mean, uh, something that you've told me watching these games over the years is if you play to your strengths as a team, if every guy plays their role and they, they play to their strength, you know, you have a lot better chance of winning when you maybe aren't uh, the best constructed team or, or guys aren't playing maybe up to the level that they can. And with that, uh, we will take our leave of you tonight. We've got a few games coming up between now and the Christmas break, and that sort of rolls into that game at UCLA, which now I'm a little more hopeful for than I was uh, uh, just a night or two ago. But that'll do it for tonight. I'm Wayne. That's Mason. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, Maryland in overtime over Penn State tonight.